My name is Mike Olivelle. I'm a professional sports photographer in Tallahassee, Florida. And this is one in a series of videos that I've been creating on how to shoot sports. Today I'm shooting the Florida State versus Wake Forest men's NCAA college basketball game, so I thought I'd give me a good opportunity to show you how I shoot a basketball game. I'll walk you through the Civic Center, I'll show you the locations that I shoot from, I'll show you the equipment that I typically use, I'll show you the various lenses, um, what they do, and then when we get done with the game, I'll show you some of the images that I took so you can get a better idea of images as opposed to lenses that I use. So if you're ready, let's head down to the Civic Center and let's shoot the game tonight. This is uh, where media goes in, through that door, the big seminal head up ahead. head over to the media workroom, which is right inside the door. You can see the arena is right there on the floor. And this is the media workroom. And now we'll head over to the floor and claim our spot. Because it's critical that you get here early and get the best spot possible. And I'll explain what I mean in a minute. Now that's the Wake Forest bench. That's the FSU bench over there. First half, I shoot from this side of the floor because I want the FSU team coming my way. That stool is for the TV, and I always like to pick the spot right next to the stool, as close to the stool as I can get under the basket support. Because from here, the ref knows that the TV cameras are right here. And so they tend to stay out of the way more often than not from this particular position. Now, you see the dotted line on the floor. We're supposed to sit behind that dotted line. And there's the baseline. Now, if you were to sit over here, for example, that far away from the stool, the ref that's under the basket will get right in front of you, right about where that R is, and block your view. So you wind up getting a lot of ref rear end. That's how I mark my spot so that I can go eat and then come back and get ready to shoot the game. I put my camera back down on the floor and that pretty much lets everybody know that's my spot. And if we come through here, through that door there, we will get to the food. I can smell it already. And this is the feeding trough. That's where the photographers usually sit, and that's where I will be in a minute. And here's the food line. Alright, let me give you a quick run through of uh, the gear that I bring to a game. In this compartment here, I've got a 105 fixed f2.8. It's my macro lens, but it's a good lens with a D3 if I really want some tight shots on the near side of the court over here. Next is my 17 to 35 wide angle lens which I will use on the near, near court here. If I want some wide angle shots, I'll typically put this down on the court, on the camera body, tilting it up and uh, pre-focus on a spot and then uh, get some wide angle shots and I'll vary it from 17 all the way out to 35. Over here is my 15 millimeter fisheye. Now, it's a Sigma, it's not an Nikon, but I love this lens. This lens gets some great shots, but I also carry a couple of batteries in here just in case one of mine go dead and I got my little bulb with the brush to keep my lenses as clean as I possibly can over here is my 3570 this guy used to get almost exclusive use on the near end until I got the 85 f1.8 this is an f2.8 lens and it's very versatile uh, I'm sure I'll use it tonight when I uh, shoot the halftime ceremony when Coach Fisher gets the Chick-fil-A trophy. Next we have the 85 f1.8. This is a great lens for basketball, especially on the near court over here. It gets in tight, uh, just a very versatile lens, plus it allows me to shoot at a 500th of a second instead of a 400th of a second because I drop this down to f2.5. I usually use this on the D3. And of course I got my SB900 in case I ever needed to get some uh, some shots of presentations and pageantry and things like that. And then down in there is the 80 to 200, which is my 80 to 200 f2.8. And then in that compartment I've got uh, the D300 and then I've got the D3 next to it. 
and then hiding over here is my 50 millimeter f1.4. If I really need to go low on the uh, f-stops, I need to really stop down, I'll pull this guy out because it'll go all the way down to f1.4. That's basically the gear I bring to a game. Alright, so there's my two camera bodies with the lenses all set up. I'm going to shoot at ISO 1600. I'll set the camera on manual exposure. The D300 with the 80 to 200 will be set at f2.8 and the shutter speed will be 1 400th of a second. The D3 will be at f2.5 at 1 500th of a second. ISO 1602. If I'm shooting the far end, I'll grab the one on the left and I can shoot FSU when it's on defense, rebounds, and anything up near the basket with the 80 to 200. And then as soon as we get a rebound or get the ball and start bringing it back down this way, I'll put the 80 to 200 down just like that and I'll grab the D3 with the 85 millimeter and shoot the play over on this end of the floor. Right now, I'm kneeling on the floor instead of sitting. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Because normally, I'm shooting up this way. And if I were sitting, it would look like this. Which means you get those lights up in the ceiling, the rafters, which look really crappy in the images. So instead of sitting on the floor and shooting up at the basket, I will kneel. And then all of a sudden, you can shoot up at the basket and not get the lights in the way. Now it's a pain to have to kneel the entire game, but the images turn out a heck of a lot better. I just switched out my D3 and put my 15 millimeter fisheye so that I can get a few shots from the floor. And what I'll do is I'll set the camera out here in front of the baseline. There's the base and shoot up that way towards the basket. Yeah, I've now taken the 15 fisheye off of the D3 and I put my 17 to 35 so I will get shots not quite as wide as the fisheye without the curvature but still a wide angle. Alright, second half is about to begin and now I'm on the FSU bench side of the floor. So now we have a timeout. Sometimes I'll come over here and get a shot of Coach Hampton. Jeffrey. Jeffrey will get one shot from half court if he makes it. He'll get one free year of rent from Sydney. Okay, the game's over and I'm back in front of my desktop. I wanted to show you some of the images that I took during the game. Starting with uh, a few of the 85 millimeter shots near basket. I'm going to show you some of the fisheye shots. You can see the curvature on the floor, but I think these are kind of neat. Now I'll show you the difference between the fisheye and just a straight 17 to 35. You see there's no curvature, so it's just a different look. Back to the 85. This is one of the shots I got during a timeout using the fisheye and then back to the 85 now I'm going to show you some of the 80 to 200 millimeter shots that I took with the D300 as the players were coming down the court from the far basket I hope you've enjoyed the video Please visit my website, www.baselineshots.com, where I have a blog in addition to sample images. I'm also on Facebook. That's Miguel Antonio Olivella, O-L-I-V-E-L-L-A. And I also have a Baseline Shots photography page on Facebook as well. So check those out. I'll have more images posted from this particular game on my Facebook pages. So check them out.